Okay, dear students, let us see what to do in this question of an astronaut is orbiting Earth in a spaceship. Uh, which why does the astronaut experience weightlessness? Now, um, in all in the case of all these spaceships and satellites and all that, what is the reason for the weightlessness? Now, many people think that the reason is space and there is no gravity there. That is why uh, people feel weightlessness there. The answer is not this. It's incorrect. Let us see what is the correct answer. The astronaut is outside the gravitational field of Earth. Not at all. Why I'm saying so? Because if there is no gravity, then why the spaceship is not free to move away from the uh, orbit of the Earth, from that orbit, which is revolving around the Earth? Like if there is no gravity, if there is no gravitational field of Earth, the satellite or the spaceship, they should move away from the earth very easily but that doesn't happen on contrary they keep on revolving around the earth it means they are bound by the gravitational field of earth so first option is wrong second the acceleration of astronaut is same as that of the acceleration of spaceship well this is right and let me read other options also the spaceship is traveling at very high speed tangentially to the orbit absolutely wrong doesn't make any sense the gravity in the field is zero at that point. Again, this does not make any sense. Now, let us go to the option number B. We know that B option is correct, but let me explain you. The acceleration of the astronaut is the same as the acceleration of the spaceship. Now, what happens in this case is that um, the acceleration of the spaceship is equal to the acceleration of the, of, uh, the astronaut. To understand this, we have to consider the case of lift or the elevator and in that case uh, we have done the case of pseudo force uh, in the case of elevator isn't it like this is the lift and uh, let us say there is this person here okay so this person is acted upon by the weight and the lift is now let us say moving downwards with an acceleration of a and so it will be acted upon by a pseudo force and the pseudo force will be m into a I am not getting into details here. I'm not explaining this thing because this question is relates to pseudo force and all those videos and all those questions have already been dealt in the topic laws of motion. So you can go there in the motion chapter and you can see I have given the complete and exhaustive detail about this thing. So now MA is above the pseudo force and MG is down. So what is the apparent weight here? So apparent weight here it comes out to be equal to mg minus ma so it means like m is taken common so g minus a now it means that the apparent value of this weight will be lesser than the real weight so you would be feeling lighter when the lift is starting to move downwards isn't it it happens with us whenever you are in lift okay now um, what is happening in this case is like if I apply this, this condition that A is equal to G. Like for example, this lift was there and I have cut this lift. The rope is cut now. And unfortunately, the lift is now falling down towards the earth with an acceleration which is equal to the acceleration due to gravity because there is no string there. And now lift is falling with the same acceleration as that of gravity. Now, this man is also falling down at the same rate. So the man who is falling with the gravity, with the acceleration 9.8 meter per second square, and the lift is also falling down with the same acceleration that is 9.8 meter per second square, it means that everything is falling at the same rate. So the person would be like, everything is falling along with me. And so there will be no reaction. You see, what is the apparent weight in this case? So in this case, the apparent weight comes out to be equal to zero. And that is why you create a case of weightlessness there in the lift. Although the lift is actually working inside a building. So you cannot say that there is no gravity. So these all options are wrong. And option B is absolutely correct. Okay, dear students. So I think this much is enough for the explanation. If you have any doubt in this explanation even now, please do let me know in the comment section. This is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.